Um, so now we're on 7-2. We are graphing equations. A little bit different. Uh, the main thing we're asking in this section and in the homework is, is the point that they give you, the coordinate pair that they give you, part of the solution or part of the solution set to the equation given? All right? So let's take a point. Somebody pick a point. I'll do this for now. I'll get, I'll get some easy ones. 3, 7. Is 3, 7, okay, a solution to y equals 2x plus 1? That's the question we're asking, okay? Is 3, 7 a solution to y equals 2x plus 1? Well, this equation here actually is, a, there's a whole story behind this equation, all right? The story is that this is the story of a line. And a line is a path. A path people go down, that's a line. And every bit along the way is an event, every point. People's paths cross. That's when two lines cross. But more on that later. Just know that everything up here is a story. A story right here. Well, the question is, is this point, is this coordinate pair part of this story? Is it on that line? How do you know? Be yeah. yeah, I'm, I'm okay. listening. Because, the audience um, is listening. So it's like 3, three, dash, three 7 is uh, x, y. Good, you put that's three, right. You put 3 in for x and that's good. Uh, 7 in for y, and good. then you just do an equation. You just solve that equation. Exactly. Substitute 3, 7 into the equation. Yeah. Y equals 2x plus 1. Equals y. With x equal to 3 and y equal to 7. So does everybody see that? We're going to take 3, 7 and substitute it into y equals 2x plus 1. Which one's going where? Well, the x always comes first. x is the 3, y is the 7. That's what's going to be substituted in. So here we go. Ready? Uh, pockets. Remember pockets? Remember yes. those? Yay, uh, pockets. Let's create them. y equals 2x plus 1. I'm going to write it again y equals 2x plus 1. And now I'm going to create pockets instead of the letters. Okay? All right. Equals 2 plus 1. Now, uh, what am I going to put here? What's the value of y, Jonathan? The value of y? 7. And I'm going to, notice I'm going to put a question mark over there. Because we don't know if this is going to equal that. What am I going to put in here, Jonathan, for x? 3, good. Good stuff. I'm just going to do this. Let me just put, no, make the black. Yeah, x and y. So is 7 equal to 2 times 3 plus 1? Yeah. Yes. So it's true. Is that a solution? Is this point a solution to this equation? Does it, does, when, when you substitute the point into the equation, does it make it true? Yes. Yes, it does. Uh huh. So the answer is yes. Is 3, 7 a solution to y equals 2x plus 1? Yes. 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 Okay. Now, of course, if it doesn't work, right, let's try to find one that doesn't work. Yeah. Now, of course, sorry, this problem now, example two, is negative 2, 3 a solution of 2y equals 4x minus 8? Okay. Well, don't answer that all in one step. Go ahead and tell us what you do to find out. All right. Well, you substitute first. Okay, substitute. And um, you know that negative 2 is going to be the x and 3 is going to be the y. Yeah. And, okay, um, so you've got 2y. Is it equal to 4x minus 8? Yeah. All right. And, and we're going to do pockets, you right? Do, yeah. You do 2. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So then you fill in that with negative 2. Yeah. All right. And the other one is 3. You do 2 and negative 2 and 3. Okay. This goes in here and that goes in there. Everybody see why? The negative 2 is the x, right, Adam? Negative 2 is the x, and the 3 is the y. Okay, so then okay. you get 6. And I guess I'm just going to keep keeping these in different colors. That's even then better. Then you get 6 okay. equals. Just let me finish. 
finish my little master piece. Yeah. Okay. okay, so you get six. Equals. We don't know. It might be equal to. It might, could equal. Uh-huh. Maybe equal. Uh, negative eight minus eight, which yep. equals negative 16 equals six. So it does not equal the same. Right, so it's false. Yes. So what is our answer then? Is Okay, is negative 2, 3 a solution of 2y equals 4x minus 8? No, sir. No. Nyet, as we say in Russian. Nine. 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 That's y equals 2x. All right? There's an equation. Now, how does that relate to a table and a graph? What do we write first? Do you know? Yeah, okay. So the table, you write down the numbers that are on the in the equation. Okay. So but how do you find them? Where are the numbers? Yeah, All I've got is well, variables. Don't you get to make them up? You get to make them up. Guys, you, this is the fun thing about graphing, is you get to choose the numbers. It's awesome. It's called the domain. And you can choose them yourselves. This is total freedom, man. It's not like in, in like middle school, elementary school, you didn't have the freedom. You were given the numbers and then you told to add them, subtract them, whatever. But now in algebra, which is awesome, you're given the freedom to choose. Hey, all right. So choose some X points. Key a bird. What do you got here? Give me an X. A number. Five and eight. Five and eight. She's going to choose five. Let's just do one at a time. You can only choose the first one. You can't choose a pair. Okay. Careful. You can't choose a pair. You can just choose the first input number, okay? This is called a function. So you choose five, and what do you get out? What do you find for Y? If, if X is five, okay, I do my pocket. I put it in, right? And I know, you're dying to answer this. Yes. Y equals 2 times 5. So what is it then, Allie? Y equals 10. Y equals 10. Okay, so we put 10 here. And we spit it out. I'll put it in black. It goes in blue, comes out black. Next one, we're going to put in black and come out blue. Like a machine. Black and blue. It's like a machine. This is what it is. Look at this machine. Okay? We're going to put it. I'm going to actually do a black in, black in, okay, and blue out. Watch. Why? Because I like black and blue. All right. Okay? So we go in black. Here's the machine. This is the function machine. It goes in black, and it comes out blue. Okay? Watch. It goes in at 5, goes in, and it comes, spits out, and it's 10. All right? It's like gasoline. Fried chicken and gasoline. How's that? Black and In a function, we go in with a number, 5, and it goes through this function, which is the y equals 2x function. Right? And it converts the x into a y value, which is equal in this case to 10. And this specific thing, okay, this is what it does to it. It multiplies it by 2. This function says that whatever you put into it, multiply it by 2, you'll get y. Let's do another number. Go pick another number. You get to choose. 8. 8. That's the other one she chose. That's good. 8 goes in. What comes out? Right, 16 comes out. This is an easy function. Let's put a negative number in, just for the heck of it. Negative 200. Negative 200? What comes out? I knew somebody, Thanks, some wise Charlie. guy. Negative Thanks, Charlie. 400. Negative 400, right? No, negative yeah. 10. Uh, no, no. Negative 0.77. Ah, oh, negative 0.77. That's good enough. What comes out? Negative. Right? Yeah. Get the idea. This is that how that works. Now, what about a graph for this? What about a graph, Allie? Um, you would do the xy. That's right. Simple as that. There's your x-axis. There's your y-axis. And then you would just plot the points. Go over five. Yep. Up ten. That's right. Go over five. Go over eight. One, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Up ten. And there's our first point. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's our first point. Five, ten. Yeah, so We're keeping like it black and blue. Two. Five, ten, black and blue. And then, yeah, but we can do another one here. Five, six, seven, eight, and sixteen goes up there somewhere. Eight and sixteen is gonna be somewhere up here. Let's go black and blue. Eight and sixteen. Guess what? If we have two points, what do we have? What can we do with two points? Make a line. We can make a line. How do we make a line? Connect the dot. Okay. And guess what? One final thing to this, and make sure you draw this, is this is the line of y equals 2x. We label the line y equals 2x. 